Alright, how are we doing tonight, guys? I'm back with another break for Fred's Card Shop. And uh, tonight we're going to be getting into something a little bit different than last. Some more baseball like we did in our very first break the other night. Um, this time, though, I went a different route with something that I was interested in. I love the way the top's chrome looked. So I said, why not change it up and this time get into some top stadium chrome baseball 2020 with uh cody bellinger on the front always a good name there and uh yeah i, I went over to the local card store today it was a place i had been in a couple times before but i never exactly realized how much they had to offer um way more boxes and unopened cases than i'd ever imagined and then then you really see in a lot of stores around here like I mentioned in the last video, Targets and Walmarts have been really low on cards around the holidays, and that's usually where you get the cheapest prices. But um, this place, S&B Sports Collectibles, I have their business card here, and I'm definitely going to link them in the bio of this video. Um, I'll show you guys right here. Anybody in the Philadelphia area, I highly recommend them and to check them out on Facebook as well, S&B Sports Collectibles. Um yeah, so they're in the Berkshire and Montgomery Mall in Penn, in the Philadelphia area, Philadelphia suburbs and uh, Reading, PA or um, North Wales, PA. And yeah, I was really impressed. Not only do they have current day stuff, but they also had a lot of cases from like 90s baseball, early 2000s baseball, really anything you want. So if you're looking for like a Griffey rookie card, a Jeter rookie card, a place like that is probably your best bet at pulling something. But I know a lot of those cases at the same time are um, really worth the value of the card anyways, on open cases of 93 baseball or um, 89 baseball if you're looking for Ken Griffey Jr. But yeah, anyways, I also wanted to mention another store nearby. Um, my dad was telling me about this place and for anyone in the Philadelphia area, Pistol Pete's Memory Lane, and I believe the store's name is The Swamp Door. So yeah, this guy's name, Pete Frasca. He has a really cool card shop in the area. I believe it's um, out towards Gilbertsville, PA, as it says on the business card. So I'll try and link something about his store in the bio of the video as well. But uh, yeah, I just definitely want to try and plug as many local card stores as I can during these breaks, the places that I'm going to get the cards so that you guys can find out about them and continue to promote the industry because um, it's definitely booming right now. It's coming back. And I, as somebody that grew up collecting, um, I love to see it bounce back the way it has over the past couple of years. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into some top stadium club chrome. And uh, as you can see on the box here, it says we're really looking for autographs and chrome parallels. So if I can pull at least one or two autos out of these two boxes, I'll be happy. Um, and any parallel will just be a bonus at that point. So parallels, autographs, that's where we are looking for here in today's break. Um, and as always, please let me know in the comments what you want to see me break next. I have a couple... Um, Boxes in store that include a variety of sports, some football, some basketball maybe even. I know how expensive it is, but um, I have a little bit uh, ready for you guys that I was able to get at the store today. So that's going to be coming up next. As well as don't forget to, if you haven't already clicked on my first break ever, we did a giveaway at the end. So all you have to do is comment on the first video giveaway in the comments and you'll be able to enter for um that little giveaway at the end of the video so make sure to do that and let's get into some top stadium club chrome and have to lint roll this mat a little bit make sure it's nice and clean for you guys all right we'll start with this pack let's see what we can pull here I'm definitely a big fan of this rookie class, which makes me that much more interested in pulling baseball cards right now. Um, the other night we were lucky enough to pull a 
Luis Robert, who is really the prize of this class as it appears early on, uh, as well as Lazardo and Bo Bichette, of course. So pulling all three of them the other night was definitely a bonus, but today we'd be looking to pull some sort of a parallel of one of those guys. That would be my goal. And it looks like besides these base packs, we get four four base packs um, per box. You can see them right here. So we get four of these. And then we'll open up last. It looks like you get four parallels. So four exclusive base card parallels to finish it off. So we'll be doing that last. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, get some luck here tonight. Uh, trash cans getting full from all these breaks the past two nights. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. First pack of top Stadium Club Chrome. I've opened some regular Stadium Club before, not recorded live, but um. It's an interesting product. The The images are much different than I'm typically used to. Like a lot of wide prints. But I always like a card better when it's chrome. So here we go. First card of the night is going to be Kevin Pillar, Red Sox. Kevin Pillar. We have a Walker Bueller Dodgers. Walker Bueller. And we have a nice turned around card here. Doesn't appear to be numbered on the back, but maybe we can get an auto. This would be a really sweet auto, judging by the name. If we can pull it out, let's see. Really good name, but can we get an auto? Not an auto, but some sort of a parallel, it appears. Emperors of the Zone, Max Scherzer. Really neat looking card there. Max Scherzer, Nationals. So, I've never opened this product before, so it, that got me a little bit excited, but I'm guessing maybe you get one card, one parallel per pack that's typically flipped around, so it's not necessarily an autograph. But yeah, next up we have a Lorenzo Kane for the Brewers. Lorenzo Kane, gold glove outfielder there. Yeah, that, that uh, Scherzer print is definitely pretty cool. I like the look of these cards for sure. Like I said, Chrome just always seems to look a little bit better. Here we have a star player from this past season, Brian Anderson, shined in the playoffs in that little upset of the Cubs. Brian Anderson, Oop. Miami Marlins. And to round out the first pack, Marcus Semyon, the A's, Marcus Semyon. Alright, nothing too crazy in that first one. Got my heart racing a little bit with the Scherzer, but let's see if we can get some better luck here. I like the name to start out this next pack, but let's see if we can get a cool parallel, maybe an auto. Leading things off. A Josh Hader. Brewers, Josh Hader. A cool 
throwback here. I didn't really see. I I know nothing really about this product, but um, always cool to see a Roberto Clemente Pirates, a little legend of the game, Roberto Clemente, R.I.P. Pirates. That's a cool card there. Our first rookie of the night. Nothing too crazy. But Mike Brousseau. Tampa Bay Rays. Mike Brousseau. First rookie of the night. Let's see if we can get a Robert here. Robert, Bichette, Lazardo. Now this is another sweet. I, I really did not know retired legends were gonna be pulled tonight, but I'll take it. Tony Gwynn. Really cool really cool card here. Tony Gwynn. Now I wonder if that could be a short print of some kind. I'll have to do some research afterwards, but it's definitely a unique print. So we have two Hall of Famers in this pack. Can we make it a third? Another rookie here, not the ones we're looking for, but Brian O'Grady, another Tampa Bay Ray rookie. Brian O'Grady. And we round out our, our second pack with one of the best young players in the league, up and coming, Vladimir Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays. Little Vladdy Jr. Cool print there. All right. So we're going to get into this third pack. And there's no real guarantees here. This is a, a blaster from, I think, they sell these at Target, Walmart, all of the above. You can also get them in your local card store. But, yeah. You're going to get no guarantees, but always the chance of pulling something crazy. So that's what kind of what you get with these blasters. And like I said, we plan on doing a lot of Walmart Target blasters so that you guys can find out what's worth spending your money on and what's not when it comes to retail. Because we don't all have the thousands to put out at on guaranteed hits. You know, it's part of the hobby. It's a gamble, but it's a fun gamble. So we got our third pack here, third of four, and then we get the parallel pack. And this one is going to be a Manny Machado for the Padres. Manny Machado. Almost the NL MVP this past year. Just fell short of Freddie Freeman. His teammate Tatis was also in the mix. Another really cool legend card here. Another almost Hall of Famer, but had some problems with the steroids. How about Jose Canseco? Jose Canseco. Neat looking card there. I need to do some information, uh, some research to get some inf information on these uh, short prints. Cause like that's another one that looks like it could be a short print, but um, I just don't know enough about this product. And this next card also looks like it could be a short print of some kind, but we will have to do some research. How about Victor Robles of the Nationals with his flag? Victor Robles, another young stud in the major leagues. Cool card there. Now uh, we have a soon-to-be MVP candidate, Matt Olson, for the Oakland A's. Matt Olson, Oakland. Randall Gritchick for the Blue Jays. 
Another really good player here, Randall Gritchick. That guy just seems to hit home runs every single year, no matter where he is, and somehow he doesn't stay on the team. I just don't get it. I would take him any day on my team. And we round out this pack, the third pack, with a Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees. Masahiro Tanaka. So I'm not sure unless I miss something, and that's why we have to do some look up some information on um, these short prints because it seemed like we were getting some sort of a rookie or parallel in each pack. That pack did not appear to have either. So yeah, I'm not really sure what the guarantees are. It might just kind of be a hodgepodge. Yeah, no guarantees on the box. So last pack of this first blaster box. Don't forget we have another one in the briefcase. So you guys will not be left hanging tonight. You're going to get a full opening. And plenty more in store for later. So don't forget to tune in to the channel. There will be new content all the time. Really cool to see a lot of legends in these packs. I was not expecting that going into it. But uh, we have another one here. Barry Zito. Oakland A's. Barry Zito. Cool card there. We have a rookie. Hmm. Looks like there's some sort of flipped parallel here. Again, hopefully we can get an auto, but the rookie is going to be Jonathan Daza. For the rookie, or for the Rockies, excuse me, Jonathan Daza. Rockies. And now, I'm not sure what this little insert is, but let's hope for an auto. Flipped cards. Give us something good here. No, it is not an auto, but a cool power zone. Insert of some sort, Anthony Rizzo, Chicago Cubs. Anthony Rizzo, Power Zone, Chicago Cubs. It's a cool looking card. Like I always say though, we'll recap all of the unique cards and uh, rookies at the end of this break. But please, any base card, any parallel, anything you see in any of my openings, they're always up for any type of offer. So just contact me, DM me on Twitter. Anything in the comments section on YouTube, and I'd be happy to sell you any of these cards. So just always let me know. Oh, accidentally grabbed an extra one there. We have another rookie, Kwang Hyung Kim, for the Cardinals. Hyun Kim, for the Cardinals. Next up, we have a prospect that hasn't really turned out yet, but Lewis Brinson, still young for the Miami Marlins. Lewis Brinson. I'm curious to open this, uh, this parallel packs coming up next. I, know, I have no idea what could be in here, but I know they're guarantees, so who knows what, what could be in there. And last... We have another legend, Edgar Martinez, arguably the greatest DH of all time. Edgar Martinez, Seattle Mariners. Cool card. All right, let's get into this uh, parallel pack, and then we can look in the box, too. This could really be anything. I have no idea what to expect here, but I'm hoping it's something good. Looks like there could be legends or current active players in here. What the? Really cool cards. I must say. They blind you a little bit. Especially this first one. Hmm. 
Ja. Really neat card here. Looks like he's on his uh, World Series float. A neat parallel. Steven Strasburg, Washington Nationals, celebrating their World Series. How sweet is that? Steven Strasburg. That's going to be worthy of uh, at least a sleeve. Not sure anything yet has been worthy of a sleeve. Maybe the Rizzo or um, the Scherzer I might go back and put a sleeve on for now. But um, I think all of these parallels are going to get one. It's Steven Strasburg with a really neat card. Let me show it one more time. Steven Strasburg. Okay. Like I said earlier, we're going to go back and review all of the hits at the very end from both boxes. So stay tuned for that or skip to the end if you just want to see all the hits. But I would hope you guys uh, stick with me throughout. Not a bad rookie here. This guy was making a case for AL Rookie of the Year. In the shortened season for a while there until he fell off at the end. But how about Randy Dobnik, Minnesota Twins? Randy Dobnik. I love this guy's style with the rec specs. And he just fires 96 at you at the plate. You would never expect it, but pretty neat. So like I said, all these parallels we're going to give a sleeve to. We'll go back and probably give, hand a sleeve out to a couple more worthy candidates. But yeah, so far I like this uh, little pack at the end. It's cool seeing these parallels. Ooh, really nice one to end it. But uh, first we have Kenley Jansen. Kenley Jansen pulled a... He had a numbered card in our last break from um, Archives, Tops Archives. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a neat looking refractor parallel there. For Kenley Jansen. And then we're going to end it on quite the legend for this blaster. Quite the legend coming up. See if you guys can uh, guess it in the comments before it comes out. But uh, who do you think is the greatest St. Louis Cardinal of all time? Because that's who's coming up here. Greatest St. Louis Cardinal of all time. Nah, yeah, maybe he isn't the greatest, actually. He makes, somebody else makes a case. But nonetheless, top three, top two. Stan Musial. Stan the man, usual. Awesome card. To round out, blaster number one. Stan, usual. Okay, so we are looking to get into blaster number two now. The first one treated us all right. Nothing too crazy, though. We'd like to see some better rookies. Um, but for a product that I've never, I haven't really ever opened these before, not the Chrome. So I had no idea what to expect out of that um, parallel pack to end it. I thought they were pretty neat. Um, Musual was cool. And that Strasburg I really liked, as well as Randy Dobnik was probably um, probably the best rookie that we pulled of the bunch. Uh, I forget the other names that were out there, but nothing too crazy. We're definitely looking in this next pack to hopefully pull. If we could just get a Robert, a Bichette, or even a Lazardo in this, I'd be happy. I want one of those three 
in this next box and you know can we always hope for an auto i want to show you guys an auto in almost every uh opening that's the goal but we'll see I know it's that's not the most realistic of goals to get an auto in every single box break that I'm doing, considering I'm trying to do more of a budget opening for you guys, the retail openings. You're never guaranteed an auto, but we're gonna try and get lucky on uh on these breaks. Like we did uh the other night. We pulled the uh Adbert Alzale for the Cubbies in um Tops Chrome. By the way, I do have some Topps Chrome on deck for our next um, pack opening. I'm excited for that. I told you guys the other night while I was opening it that I loved that product so much. It was just so nice looking. Um, all the refractors that are in there are freaking sweet. And there were some really cool like rookie parallels. Like the, the Beau Bichette that we pulled the other night. I forget the name of it, but... Just really unique stuff um, that you don't really see in every every single box. So that's definitely something I want to continue to open in the future. Baseball is my number one, no doubt. So I'm going to continue to open it. It's also affordable at times, right? Not compared to this basketball market that has just gone through the roof. I was at the card shop today talking to the owner and he's telling me that I asked him um, what kind of action they've had on basketball and how like the card industry has just started to boom recently because of it and mosaic basketball and all of that. The refractors with Zion and John Morant. And he tells me that in the past year they had somebody pull a $35,000 Zion Williamson mosaic refractor. I'm like, are you kidding me? That is why basketball prices have just gone through the roof. To buy individual packs, you're paying stacks of money. So it's not something I'm going to be pulling all the time, but I will say I do have some basketball coming up soon, a retail box that we're going to try and open and get lucky. So maybe we could get a Zion. Maybe we could get a John Morant. But we'll see. For now, though, we're going to move on with the top stadium chrome. Our second blaster of the night. Let's see what we can pull. Hmm. So it looks like in this first pack, we're pulling one of those same cards we got in our. Um, parallel pack last time but this is just going to be the base version and that's going to be steven strasburg washington nationals celebrating their world series parade pretty cool strasburg that guy's got to get a cy young soon right Ooh. here's a guy that Deserves his chance very soon. Why won't the Yankees just make this guy their starting outfielder? Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier, New York Yankees. I just think he has so much potential, and they just keep fucking with him more and more. Like, either trade him or start him. There's no reason he should ever be in minor league baseball again. All right, this is what fooled me last time, but you're not going to get me this time, Stadium Chrome. Emperors of the Zone in the first pack again, Clayton Kershaw. Cool card. Any Kershaw collectors out there, I got you with an Emperors of the Zone. Let me know. Another guy whose name's been been in some trade rumors recently. Would love to see the Phillies swoop in on this guy. How about Luis Castillo? Cincinnati Reds. Some of the nastiest stuff in the game. Luis Castillo. Neat card there. Ooh. 
one of the top home run hitters in the league, Jorge Soler, Kansas City Royals, formerly a Chicago Cub, but they moved on rather quickly. I forget who was in that trade. Was that Wade Davis, maybe? And lastly, we ended off with a rookie. Nothing crazy. But we're going to have Seth Brown, Oakland A's, outfielder. Seth Brown. It's not a great first pack, but let's see what we can do in this second one. It's weird. These cards are like all flipped and whatnot. I feel like I have no idea what direction they're coming in. They're trying to fool me with these autographs. Normally I see a flipped card. I just assume I'm getting an auto. These are a little bit different. Maybe though this one we can get lucky and it'll actually be an honor. Let's hope. A guy I'm real in on buying low on right now after a down COVID year. But keep in mind how screwed the St. Louis Cardinals got after their early COVID cases. Jack Flaherty. Young stud pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, Jack Flaherty. I just recently bought one of his uh, Gypsy Queen autographs. I, I don't think it was a rookie card, but I just wanted to have one of his autos. Um, I'm a big believer of his, and like I said, that team somehow found their way into the playoffs after getting absolutely screwed. So um, you got to give him some credit there. All right, we have a really cool insert coming up. I'm hoping that maybe this time it's an autograph because it's probably my favorite player in the league. So that'd be freaking awesome. But even if it's not, I'm just happy to see his name. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians. That's not who I was talking about, by the way. This next card is who I'm talking about. Let's hope. We have a beam team. Insert. Maybe it's an auto? Flipped around? Let's see. No, it is not. But still a sick card. Bryce Harper. Beam team. Bryce Harper, Philadelphia Phillies. Very cool Bryce card. We're going to get a sleeve for that one. Just because it's Bryce. He's definitely a part of my PC right now. Um, so if any of you guys are looking to make trades instead of necessarily buying a base card or something on a smaller market, I'm always looking for cool Bryce Harper cards. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something we can talk about. Next we have a rookie from the Minnesota Twins. Lewis Thorpe, Minnesota Twins. And another rookie here from Houston. Celebrating with uh, the cheater himself, Jose Altuve. We have Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro. What a weird card. It almost looks more like an Altuve card than it does Toro. You see the Altuve jersey and you just kind of see Toro's face. Weird card there. Anywho. Last card of the second pack. Will Myers. San Diego Padres robbing a home run. Will Myers. Bounce back year for him. This guy was a former rookie of the year winner. Kind of fell apart when he got bounced out of Tampa Bay. Heads to San Diego, struggled for a little, and then last year when Slam Diego Padres came on the scene, and he was a big part of it. All right, please, let's get lucky here. Give us something special. Definitely not to start it out. We have the guy who needs to retire, Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence, San Francisco Giants. 
Guy was a great player once, but I think it's about time he hangs up the cleats. We have a rookie. Not a big rookie, but take it nonetheless. James Marvel. Pittsburgh Pirates. James Marvel. We have a flipped card again. Now, this time, I don't want to get my hopes up because I've done it before. This time, I don't see anything that really makes me think it's um, an insert of some sort, like that uh, Harper Beam Team. But I do see on the back it says Refractor. So maybe an auto. Maybe a Refractor auto. No, it looks like it's just an average refractor. Kirby Yates. San Diego Padres. See the flashing there a little bit. Cool refractor, but Kirby Yates. Not numbered. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I don't think it says refractor on all of these cards. No. And that one was flipped, so. I'll check it out. I just want to look at one of these base cards. Yeah, now, so you see this Hunter Pence, for example, if you look in the top right, you're just getting your basic numbering for the base cards. But then this Kirby Yates that was flipped over, you see the refractor right next to the 82. But yeah, it's pretty cool Kirby Yates. Not numbered, though. How about this card? Total legend of the game. Arguably the greatest pitcher of all time. Nolan Ryan. Houston Astros. Nolan Ryan. Some say his stats were inflated. Some, like myself, would say, fuck off. Cool card here, Eric Hosmer, close up, his batting stance, Eric Hosmer, another guy just like Will Myers who kind of struggled after moving to San Diego, was a stud, all-star, MVP candidate, World Series MVP, right, and I don't, actually, I think Escobar or somebody else got that World Series MVP, but he's a World Series winner, huge part of that Royals team, moves to San Diego, loses Gets paid a lot of money in that weird offseason and then kind of fell apart for a season or two. Him and Will Myers just really came on the scene with the rest of that young San Diego team. Meanwhile, they just traded for you Darvish today, Snell yesterday. That team is going to be the top of the NL this year, no doubt. Last card of the third pack, Kyle Hendricks. Mr. Control for the Chicago Cubs. Kyle Hendricks throwing a... A mean 90 miles an hour on the radar gun. Just straight control guy. Throws the same speed as a high school pitcher. Last pack of these blasters of Stadium Chrome. So far, nothing too crazy at all. This would be, unless they really make up for it here in these last two packs... I wouldn't advise going out to get these over some of your other options like a um, Topps Chrome, for example, if you can find those blasters or um, even just your regular top series update with Harper on the cover. I have a couple of those on deck and if you can find them for $10 at Target, Walmart, go for those because so far I'm not loving these Stadium Chrome. They're sweet looking cards, but we haven't seen anything too crazy. First card, Minnesota Twins, Eddie Rosario. Minnesota Twins. Second card, Hunter Dozier, the Royals. Hunter Dozier. 
Another turned around card that says Refractor, but it's not a huge name. It is a rookie, though. San Francisco Giants. Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis. Sometimes I feel like I'm calling bingo with these cards, like repeating them multiple times, but I just want you guys to know what I'm pulling in case you can't see it. Next card, Dodgers. Kenley Jansen again. Kenley Jansen. Let me put this rookie in the wrong pile. Let's correct that. Okay. Looks like two more to go, maybe. Ooh, cool legend to end it. But uh, I'm going to have a rookie here. Again, Willie Castro, Detroit Tigers. Willie Castro, Tigers. And to round out the base packs, legend of the game, Ted Williams, Boston Red Sox, Ted Williams. Okay, so that does it for the regular packs. Now we have our last bonus pack of exclusive base card parallels. Hopefully, we can pull a rookie here and a big rookie that would make up for this a little bit because nothing too crazy has come out of these. But um, a nice rookie here, like I said, a Bichette, a Lazardo, a Robert would be really nice. Here we go. We're going to hope for one of those four. And we do get a nice rookie to start this off. I will take that. Not one of the three I said, but he's somebody that a lot of people are buying into right now. So I will take a refractor of his. No doubt. And that is going to be the Texas Rangers' Nick Solak. Nicky Solak. Texas Rangers. Came onto the scene as a rookie. People expect him to take the next step. I believe in 2019, 27 home runs. Oh, those are his minor league numbers. So he has not, I think he made his debut, I want to say, in the shortened season. But he's somebody that should be coming on the scene soon. Get that cased up. Nick Solak, see it there? Cool card. See, I like the look of these um, parallels a lot. I just, so far, I, the base packs were not were not anything too crazy. I really don't like how they, they're flipping the cards on you. They make it, you think it, you got an auto and it's a, some sort of weird insert. But what are you going to do? Wow, cool card here. Former Luke, well, actually, uh, fighting leukemia, and I think he's in recovery now. But Carlos Carrasco, Cleveland Indians, refractor. Carlos Carrasco. So like I've been saying, these refractors, especially, they're great for PC. So if you have interest, please let me know, and we can talk. Like, we could definitely talk on a Nick Senzel, Cincinnati Reds, Nick Senzel, another guy with a really bright future, he's young, this is not a rookie card, second year card, still pretty cool. One last look, Nick Senzel. We will be recapping all of the decent hits 
from uh, these packs at the very end, so stay tuned for that. We're coming right after this last card, another New York Yankee. Araldus Chapman, Mr. 105. Araldus Chapman, last card of the night. Pretty cool refractor. So, nothing too crazy tonight at all. Disappointed to not pull an auto. But, I will say the look of these refractors at the end was really, really neat. Very clean cards. So, if you want to hang your hat on that and maybe you buy into one of these blasters knowing you have the chance at a really nice looking Luis Robert, a uh, really nice looking Beau Bichette. That might be what you want to hang your hat on, but um, the odds on these autographs doesn't appear to be too great. Those were two blaster boxes, no autos. But then again, there's probably four boxes sitting in that same store that all have autos and maybe even a Robert auto. So take my word for what it is. And uh, now we're going to recap the hits, the decent cards, parallels, inserts, refractors that we pulled. Alright, so we're going to recap real quick before signing off for the night. And just to remind everybody, we opened the Top Stadium Club Chrome 2020. And yeah, it wasn't anything too crazy. Now I will say, I like the look of the products. Um... They're clean looking and the refractors you get in that bonus pack at the end, you know, it seemed like we pulled a rookie in both of them. I want to say there was a legend in one. There might have been a legend in both. I'll, I'll see when I look through the recap with you guys here in a second. But you're really banking on maybe pulling an autograph, which in two blasters we did not pull. But also the fact that maybe you could pull a solid rookie in one of those um refractor packs at the end so like like i said if you pull a robert or a bichette there you're looking pretty good um we pulled nick solak so that was probably our best pull of the night i would say that's not a bad uh rookie to get there in the refractor pack but let's just get into this recap real quick before i sign off for the night so we'll start off with the cards that didn't quite make uh, the seal cut, but these were just uh, some of our base rookies. We had Willie Castro, Tigers. James Marvel, Pirates. Abraham Toro, Astros. Lewis Thorpe, Twins. Seth Brown, Oakland A's. Sorry guys, had to stop recording there for a second if the ang angle changed at all in the recording, but continuing on with our recap, a couple more base rookies left to go. Kwang Hyun Kim, St. Louis Cardinals, Kwang Hyun Kim. Jonathan Daza. Colorado Rockies, Jonathan Daza. And the last of the base rookies, Brian O'Grady, Tampa Bay Rays. Brian O'Grady. Okay. We move on to some of our a little bit more special cards. Nothing too crazy, though. 
first we have our rookie refractors. We start with Mike Brissell, Tampa Bay Rays. You can see the difference here right on the back next to the number as I showed you earlier, refractor. It'll say next to number 80 here, refractor number 80, Mike Brissell. The same goes for Jalen Davis, refractor, San Francisco Giants. See right there. Then we had a couple refractors, non-rookies. This card's pretty cool. A sweet print of the Nationals, Victor Robles, with his flag. Victor Robles, Washington Nationals. Refractor. And then we also had for the San Diego Padres, Kirby Yates, Refractor. Kirby Yates. Then some inserts here. We had an Emperors of the Zone, Max Scherzer, Washington Nationals. Max Scherzer. Natties. Another Emperors of the Zone. Not a bad one-two punch here. Clayton Kershaw. L.A. Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw. Then we had some of the hitters inserts. Power Zone. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. And probably my favorite pull of the night, just as a Phillies fan, my favorite player. Beam Team Phillies Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Neat looking card there. All right. Then we move into our final eight cards. These were the guaranteed refractors that you got in your bonus pack of these blasters. We got a rookie in each. So we'll start with those rookies and then we'll get into the rest. I believe, did we get a legend? No, we. you're not guaranteed a legend in your refractor bonus pack, but we did pull one. I'll save him for the end. But first, these rookies we had for the Minnesota Twins, Randy Dobnak. Randy Dobnak, Refractor. And then we had probably our best pull of the night, rookie-wise. Nick Solak, Texas Rangers, Refractor. Nick Solak, Rangers fans. Hit me up if you want a piece of the Solak Refractor. All right, on to our other refractors of base players. Steven Strasburg, celebrating on the parade float. Steven Strasburg, Washington Nationals. We had the Dodgers, Kenley Jansen. Kenley Jansen. Indians, Carlos Carrasco. Carlos Carrasco. Second year in the sleeveless Reds jerseys that I can't stand. Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Last two cards. First up, we have... The New York Yankees, Araldis Chapman Refractor. Araldis Chapman. And the last card we're going to show in this recap, a legend Refractor Cardinals. Stan the Man Usual. Stan the Man Usual. 
All right, guys, that's our break for the night. Um, join us next time. I'll let you know on Twitter when we're going to be posting our next YouTube video. And like I said, always let me know in the comments what you want to see me break next. We have some things on deck for you, including some more Topps Chrome 2020, some football. Uh, I believe we have a couple things, a couple football coming up. And then I have a little bit of a basketball surprise for you guys. We got some chronicles that we want to get into. So we have all that coming up next. Definitely leave a like on the video. Comment if you're interested in any cards. Hit me up on Twitter at Fred's Card Shop or at Markdown Sports and let me know. Always interested in trading, selling, all of the above. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.